Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Scare Canarium. So, I thought I was actually missing a lot of stuff up here, but it turns out I'm not. Let's go ahead and push on through here. We're going to go ahead, go back to the second floor, because there's actually some stuff I'm missing down there rather than up here. Let's, let's see if I remember my way over there. I believe it's this way. Yes. Now, there is one thing I did miss up here that I'm not particularly worried about. It's just an achievement. If you wander around outside the base and not go to the other building, but instead try to wander as far away from the base as possible in two opposite directions, you get an achievement. I forgot what it's called, but it's basically like, hey, you're not supposed to be out here. Why are you out here? No, let me see if I can find the other things that happen to be missing over here. It's uh, two little books. And the only reason I happen to know about these is because I was watching another person do a let's play of it. Here we go. X, temple, flooded caves, and a base. Provisional camp. Equipment was deployed to the underground caverns below the base without any problem. Submarines also worked great. They are fast and maneuverable beyond my expectations. We've started exploring some of the parts underwater passages, but it's slow going. Oh, okay, so they have a a map here of a base, and then where they travel to the flooded caves, and there's a possible temple there. Interesting. So there's that book, or that map thing there. And yeah, the expedition handbook that we saw earlier. Now, the room we unfortunately have to return to is this one with this uh, creepy plant. Now, for whatever reason, I can do this. And apparently, as I approach things, that can happen. And that is obnoxiously loud, so we're, we're just going to close that up. I have no idea what it symbolizes, but it's a thing. We got some information about the plants as it looks. This is the thing I was using earlier. The plant, or that thing is just turning on and off. I believe I picked up a key from this guy. Who is this? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Yeah, so... There we go. His key was to be used here. Hello? Uh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. It just flat out says, no, you can't interact. Is it this thing? I believe no more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores for there are things that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I... I am going to think a bit more. Okay. Strange. Can I investigate any of this stuff? What is this? Is this one of those same species? That they said they found? It's obviously not anything of this planet. Can't use my flashlight. Some kind of map. Nova et Integra Viniversi Orbis Descripto. Not sure what that is, but maybe it's a universal map. Everything's so trippy. 
Antarctica, the southernmost continent in the side of the South Pole, is virtually an inhabited ice-covered landmass. Most cruises to the continent visit the Antarctic Peninsula, which stretches towards South America. It is known for the Lemaire Channel, Lemaire, the Lemaire Channel, Jesus, and Paradise Harbor, striking iceberg flank passageways in Port Lockroy, former British research station turned museum. The peninsula's isolated terrain also shelters rich wildlife, including many penguins, and the rest is illegible. Agartha, some markings on the map. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? Fireplace. Uh, very. Uh. It's like Cronus eating his child kind of thing of a painting. Some skulls. Mm. Why do you just have skulls in here, my guy? God, that music is so loud. in here bunch of notes on the floor doesn't look like it I'm like ferociously clicking it's well it's that thing again you can hear it. That thing's in the room. The one from the first room where we woke up in. Locked. It's locked. I guess the game wants me to go this way. Um. Um. Alright, going through. Mm, am I dead? Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Dead? Other city ruins, Cyclopean city, mountains of madness. Hmm. This weird thing is here. Let's see. Dr. Barlow's note on the Dervishe mixture. The Dervishe, the legendary drink of the oldest myths. I've heard elusive mixture decades ago when I was writing my thesis on. Salvia Denorium, also known as the Sage of the Diviners, an enthogenic. Hmm, that's a new word. Enthogenic plant used mostly in religious or shamanic ceremonies. For centuries, no one can gather any information about it other than its legendary, mystical, psychoactive properties. In some sources, the drink was a drink of the gods, while in others, it was a key for opening gates to places that lie beyond conventional, conventional human senses. The sole bridge to be passed in order to leave the body the bodily restrictions of the flesh. Most scholars would kill even for a hint about one of its long lost ingredients. And that's something I was on the lookout for throughout my career. A new formula is forming forming in my mind. I feel like there's a chance for me to produce, if not the original, then a variant of the legendary mixture, Dervache, with new clues I've uncovered during my work here. Interesting. Ooh, a sketchbook. Somewhat in humanoid form, these sculptures are initially reminded us of the terracotta army sculptures that formed as a funerary art buried within the first ever China to protect him in the afterlife. But judging by the writings and some of the vast beliefs, now we believe these wooden puppets or golems were used to carry out some tests for their masters, just like the Egyptians. Oosh. 
Ushabitu or Ushabitu funerary figurines which were the servants of their owner in the hereafter. We saw these golems in several sizes and were terrified to see huge ones sitting in silence on the carved and polished rocks rock stools as a setting for a command. That's cool though. Like I would love to build something like this. Let's see, there are lots of gateways leading to a dark and damp corridors that were mostly carved in ages past. Some of them were covered by strange ivy-like plants, flying back and forth despite there being no external force to move them. They seem to come from levels below, creeping through crevices in the rock walls. To stop probable superstitious gossip among the crew, Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, personally started to examine them. Oh, so that might be the guy that died. The first submarine explorations revealed what was lying in the underwater caves. The most striking features were the structures with openings in them, like doors and windows. They made us wonder whether those caverns had been carved underwater or if they had been submerged at a later date and thus had become redundant to those who had carved them. Interesting. Oh, it's a trophy item. Nice. Antarctica, scientific historical timeline of the unoccupied continent. Interesting. Pronunciation of the Zeises. Zeises? Pronunciation of whatever that is. Thing on the board. Hmm. Why is there nothing on the board? Ooh, wait, I need that. That's the handle for the elevator. I wish I could zoom in on this. Hmm. Anything else? Perhaps not. Nothing else in here, by the looks of it. I think I looked at that map already. Alright, we're just gonna make a beeline out of here, right? Yeah. And we're free. Alright, let's take this elevator down, I guess. Oh, I could go up? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, let's see what's up. Literally. Nothing better than a pink lemonade while in the midst of the Arctic. Man, this place is pretty though. Why is this even here? Oh god, I'm going crazy. Oh god. Uh. <sighs> what? Hey, this is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and this thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. Is that it? Okay. So there's some kind of light beam heading to that is that what oh okay well that answers my question i'm gonna assume this is that light beam if i equip this now does it do anything Wait, what? Hey, this is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been 
crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms. Oh, wait. Thus, That's the thing I just listened to. Okay. Why? Is there something I can examine here? So this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. So this is the strong That's light it? that can be seen from ground level. That's all you gotta say about it? Nothing about why there's a giant lighthouse in the freaking Arctic? Okay, my guy. I don't know. Ooh. How did I miss this? I'll take that. Ornamental metallic object. Oh, well, all we got left to go is go down, I guess. Let's see, can I use that metal object anywhere here? I don't think so, but... Still gonna check anyway. Where would this even go? Think of any useful place to put this. Oh, yes. These are the pre human species we found frozen in oh, a cave wait. far south of the base. It's melting. Oh, yes. These are the pre human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Stuff I'm missing somewhere? Nothing? New campsite was established waiting for new samples. Okay. Oh jeez. So they're in Egypt? There's a problem with one of the freezers. I marked it. It must be checked immediately. You marked a freezer? Um, orange lights, orange lights, orange lights. How would you mark it then? Said there was a problem with it. But I don't see any marks. Or is it that light that's supposed to be the mark? Oh, There's something wrong yes. with this freezer. These are the pre human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Yes, 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 yes. Is there anything I'm supposed to do here? Or is it just to inform me that that thing is thawing? Okay. I don't know. We're gonna leave that door closed. And never speak of this again. We're just gonna... Bamboozle our way out of here. Thank you. Lights. And down we go. Alright. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay. Dangerous plants. There is some strange vegetation filling the most hallways. Amaz as amazing as it is deadly, there is a hidden world right beneath the Uopalk base. And even though I was prepared to find such a place, it was different than it was being alone. Or imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plants reacted with highly poisonous gas, even coming from the glowing buds. I should warn you to stop anyone from going near these plants. I also know strange phenomena I spent examining sample. Vines grow and shrink. 
uh, in length and demand all seems like a move even though there's no air currents. This movement seems too regular to be caused by natural factors. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that it is conscious, at least on some levels. Okay, that's mildly terrifying. Hey! Anyone here? Hmm. Dr. James? Dr. Morgan? Anybody? So, don't attack the plant. Where are they, for God's sake? These are some weird torches you guys have. Shining light, and to here. don't like light, especially that blue light. As long as that light stays there, I'm okay. Oh god, there's a lot of them, and there's bugs, and there's alien pods. Oh my gosh. Oh god, oh god. I think for now though, we've actually done quite a bit of exploring. We're gonna leave it off here. So we're apparently beneath the base. Yo, that's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. Let's go ahead and do ding dong. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save it, leave it here for now. This is the Afrolad signing out. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And join the Curly Crew. And I will catch you all here next time on Let's Scare Canarium. So, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.